but yeah. Gavin, look what I have. Hmm? Yeah, do you, who cut your hair? I cut my hair. You cut your hair? Do you like it? Yeah. I think it looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, thank you. It looks yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's eating one of these brownies, one of these, uh, one of these uh, Hostess M&M things that Kevin and I reviewed. And Onyx is right here waiting for a bite. Are you going to share with Onyx? <laughs> Do you like Onyx? Where's the kitty cat? I hear Kai Roy. Is she asleep somewhere? No, I swim in not. My name is Cat. Does she is she asleep? Yeah. Kitty cat sleeping? Yeah, yeah. I And Kevin's over here with this little chubby girl. <laughs> with the big feet. Look how big this foot is. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. I'm going to see if he can get her to laugh. I've never had it before, but it's Did you like it? I'm thinking Kevin does not like lentil soup. I think he's tried it before. You going to let mommy wipe your mouth off? Uh huh. Here, you want to sit here with me? Look. Look. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Did you go? Did you go to the library? Yes. And tell your tell your friends. What did you do at the library? Well, I remember you got stories oh, okay. about baby dolls. Stories about who? I remember we I don't know what. The, did you get some books? Did you look at books at the library? Yeah. Does, I was Papa has sister again. Papa again. Again. <laughs> And I don't know the song. No, I don't know the song. Are you gonna laugh at me? Huh? Are you roly poly only? Huh? Are you roly poly only? Huh? Don't get scared now. Don't get scared now. Are you a big girl? Can you talk? What are you? gonna say beautiful huh are you gonna get mad what do you sing let's sing something to you what do you sing huh the wheels on the bus go round and round oh we're not gonna cry we're not gonna cry the baby's on the bus go way 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 that's you <laughs> Wee, wee, wee. Gavin, that part. Gavin's the big boy. The big boy's on the bus school. <laughs> the big boy's on the bus school. No, no, no way. Is your sister a crybaby? <laughs> Is she a crybaby? Is she a good baby? Do you like her? I didn't know. Really? Take a picture of you. Okay. okay. Let's take a picture of you. Say hi. Say, 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 look, Gavin, look, look, Gavin, look. Say Paw Patrol. <laughs> what do you want to say? Do you want to say something? What is, do you want to say your name? How about we count? Can we count? Can we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, Yay! 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 Four. Yay! 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 Yay!
Oh, oh boy, oh, we get like, we is get is a tic tac. Yeah. Okay. okay, we get a tic tac. You get a tic tac. Oh boy. Tic tacs. I cannot believe it. We got him started on the tic tac. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. The yeah, that is the cheapest prize in the world. <laughs> the a tic tac. Oh my gosh, yes. Yay! We spent upwards of $50 on this. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Are you gonna laugh, Amelia? Are you gonna <laughs> laugh? No. <laughs> Amelia is riding on Gavin's car. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like sister riding on your car? No. Well, she's doing a good job, don't you think? I don't want to ride it. Does this make noise? Does it make music, Gavin? No. I How do we turn the music on the car? How do you turn the music on? Can we turn the music on in the car for sister? No. Let's see. Can we push a button? Push a button? That's my garage. Look, we park a car in here. Or no. This is Gavin's Gavin's mess. Gavin's mess all over the floor. Are you a messy boy? Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. Look. Is that so funny? Yeah. Yes. So I was going through some papers and I thought you might want to uh, see Ashley's baby book. If you don't, you can totally skip this part. I just, um, I think baby books can be really interesting. It, uh, her baby book came in this box. And so I've kept it in here all these years just for safekeeping. And there's the baby book. And okay, underneath there's an ink pen that, uh, so I would have that handy to write anything down I wanted to. This, um, I think, Infamil. Okay, it was from Infamil. They gave it to us in the hospital. And it has all kinds of milestones in it. Um, <laughs> I said, she seems to like all music except classical. Classical music seems to irritate her. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I do not remember that. That's it. Um, uh, eight months, month eight, it says up here. We keep toys in her room and in the living room. Her playpen, she stays in our room. Her walker high chair or in the kitchen. Her bathtub is in the bathroom. Oh, I guess we're say it's saying, asking where do you keep stuff throughout the house. That's hilarious about the classical music. Ah, ear infections in both ears. She had ear infections constantly. Constantly. No teething yet at six months. I still feel the same. I won't leave it. Oh, about, uh, it says, how have your feelings towards uh, work out, working outside the home? Um, she has become more independent. She will crawl into other rooms even when she knows that we're not in there. Um, I don't know how off, how much I even kept, kept up with this. When she stands up at the TV, she likes to turn the volume up and down, even turn the TV off. <laughs> the, of course, this isn't even her baby book. This is just the book from Infamil that we got from the hospital. Okay, so, did I go to month, yeah, I went to month 12. 
The biggest surprise has been just how smart she is. She watches three movies every day. Barney, Baby Faces, and 101 Dalmatians sing along. Um, today, I tried to put a different video on and she threw a fit. She knew that I was trying to fool her. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and then I have, this says, I actually said these words between 15 and 17 months. And so those are just a list of different words that she was saying uh, back then. And then I have her first pictures from the hospital. They wanted to redo her pictures because they didn't turn out the way that they uh, consider acceptable. But I said, no, I wasn't worried about it because I knew I wasn't going to spend a fortune. And so this newspaper should be from the day she was born. Yep, June 3rd, 1996. And uh, let's see what was going on. Uh, in the news, sea lions killed. Uh, in California, uh, FBI checks whitewater fingerprints. Uh, I've forgotten all about this. An FBI report this week is expected to show who, including Hillary Rodham Clinton, handled key whitewater documents as Republicans turn up the heat on both the whitewater and White House travel office affairs. Um, okay, so anyway, this is the, just the paper from Ashley's birthday. Um, I was seeing real quick if anybody I knew had died on that day. Yes, morbid, morbid. Okay, so I can put these things back. Now we'll get to the, the good stuff, the, the, uh, the, the baby book. This outfit, I think I've shown you all before in a picture. Kevin made this entire outfit. Everything but the shoes, Kevin made. Kevin made uh, the apron, the dress, pantaloons, the hat, everything uh, for Ashley. And, let's see. This was from the opening of Kroger, uh, January 18th, 1997. Me and Kevin, let me see if I can get that close. And Ashley looking up at the bear. Yeah, they were they were having uh, they were taking pictures for opening day at, at Kroger. And let's see. Oh Lord. Okay, there's the baby picture of Ashley. There's me. There's Kevin. Okay. Oh, I think that's the only picture I have that shows my um, stomach. There's a uh, Andrew with his little sister, and there she is again. And I like this one. I put this one in there just because she's making a funny face. I like that face. Ah, this is when she was going to get tubes in her ears. I told you she had ear infections all the time. Oh, and there's our cat. That was, that was Church. He's the one that died um, on Valentine's Day a couple years ago. Yeah, he, he was a good cat. He really didn't uh, like affection much, but he was a good cat. And there's Ashley in uh, 1997. She was born in 96, and that was 97. This was on her third birthday. And then here are some other pictures of her. She was standing in a laundry basket in that one. And that was at, that was at two years old, and this is at three years old. Uh, 
And then this is her fourth birthday. I have a whole photo gallery of just cakes. Cakes that, that I've received, that uh, Andrew and Ashley have, have had. I, I, I love to take pictures of the cakes. Even if it's like homemade, I, I still would have want to have pictures of the cake. So anyway, this is, uh, let's see. They're Andrew and Ashley. First day of preschool for Ashley and middle school for Andrew. And then there's Ashley with a hat. And vacation Bible school. And there she is outside. That was on Easter 2000. And then this is that cat again. Church. And that's her yappy dog. Her uh, beanie baby. And it looks like that's all there is. So it wasn't as much as I thought. Probably a lot more reading. I started looking through some pictures. And... Um, this is from when Andrew was in high school and he was in JROTC and they were the long knives. I guess they still are. And um, Andrew is uh, hold on, I'll find Andrew in a minute. There's a lot of people. Oh, okay. There's Andrew. It'll focus right there. There's Andrew. So, but there were, there were a lot of them. Now I have to refocus. Refocus! And then, see, these pictures are too big to keep in a photo album, so I have to keep them up here, put away. Now, y'all are going to die. I'm going to show you two pictures that I had not seen in years, and I had to show you because they're hilarious. Hilar Family pictures are always hilarious pictures, but especially when you look so, so, so different. Okay, here's this one. And I had forgotten that we had these taken. I mean, really. Had totally, totally forgotten about them. Um, yeah, oh, here's Andrew's Marine Corps picture. Yeah, but I had forgotten that we had this taken. So you have this one. And then you have this one, which is, I think, even more hysterical. Because... If I, you know, you wouldn't, I don't, I, I look heavier. We all look, we, well, Andrew doesn't look heavier and Ashley doesn't look heavier. Andrew and Ashley actually, I think, look skinnier. But, um, I look heavier in the second picture. And I think Kevin looks heavier in the second picture. Yeah, those are horrific, horrific pictures. Horrible, horrible pictures. So that's empty, and oh, wow. Well, we got the big Marine Corps picture. See, that's just too big. I know the guys, I know when they're in the Marine Corps, they come around and they try to sell you these pictures, and a lot of people hang family pictures like this up on the wall, but, um, I don't. I really enjoy having them on the computer. So for me, this is huge. I mean, I love it. It's Andrew, but um, it's too big to put in the photo album. So my recommendation to anybody that's um, thinking about getting pictures, I wouldn't get any bigger than an 8x10 just because you want it to be able to fit in a photo album. I wouldn't buy those uh, bigger pictures if I were you. I don't know. I guess I was going to say, I don't know how big of a deal pictures are these days. I think they still are, especially uh, when you have kids in the school system. Of course, I have all of Andrew and Ashley's from school. You don't see them here because they're down in the photo album. Okay, I was talking about big pictures. This is another one that they talked Andrew into buying. Or, or you know what? Maybe they didn't have to talk Andrew into it. Maybe Andrew just wanted to get it. Um, now, I kept this on display for many, many years like it is. Uh, but I'm sure out of Andrew's last check uh, from uh, the Marine Corps at that time, that last check in that time period uh, when he was in boot camp, I bet you uh, they got a lot of money from Andrew because... Uh, he bought this and like I said, I had it on display for a long time 
but it it is huge. This this thing is huge. And then here's all the the um, uh, the drill sergeants and the guys he graduated with, and it's it's wonky where it's see it slips down in there. Um, but I liked it. Um, I thought it was nice, but immediately when he gave it to me, I thought that is huge. So it's something that I'll always keep. Uh, but I'm just letting you all know. I think it's better if you can get uh, eight by tens. I found a packet of more pictures, and no, I have not looked through these yet. So I don't know what what all is in here. Okay. This is me and my sister way back when. That was her idea. She wanted to have our pictures made for Mother's Day or something like that. You see those beads that I was wearing, that necklace? That was one of those uh, that you can make yourself, those handmade necklaces. Back then, those were, those were popular. Everybody was wearing those then. But look how many pictures we ordered. This is why you shouldn't let people talk you into pictures. I mean, what am I supposed to do with those? Um, and I, I've told you, I don't even display pictures. So, I mean, these have been up here, uh, forever. They're huge. That's a huge picture. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And then here's Andrew and Ashley. And here's another one of Andrew and Ashley. And here's one of Ashley. You could tell she'd been crying. I think we had been waiting for a very long time. Um, and so she was, had gotten upset. She was tired of waiting. And she was a good baby too. So, I mean, it took a while um, for her to get that mad. And that's another one like that. That's why I like doing them on the computer. And then you can print out print out what you want and uh, you don't have to buy a certain package like these little teeny tiny ones I mean what am I supposed to do with that um, I mean some people would say oh put them in a Christmas ornament or something like that but yeah but there's a hundred of them I don't need that many truly I'm, I'm just I always love this picture because you can see her teeth. And that looks like that's about all that's in here. The reason I keep them up here and not in the photo album is because when you pick up the photo album, they would all fall out because um, they would be loose in there. The, that is the school picture. That's probably kindergarten or something. And more of those. This is from one of Ashley's scrapbooks, and I was just shocked because I did not realize that Britney Spears was ever on Valentine's. These are Valentine's cards. Uh, and Steve Irwin, uh, I just had no idea that, and here's another one, Britney Spears. I did not know that they would put her on a Valentine's Day cards. This was back in 2002. Now here are some from 2007, and you have SpongeBob and Tinkerbell, another Tinkerbell, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Do you all keep your Valentine's cards? I had mine for like ever, ever, and ever, and ever, and then finally I took a picture of them. Now there's Harry Potter. I took a picture of them, and I actually threw the Valentine's cards away because um, for the moments you get them out, you only get them out like once a year. It just wasn't worth taking up the space in a book. So I got rid of them. Okay, these I just put in an envelope. Ashley's Valentine's 2002. Okay, and this, this is probably a list of the kids. Yeah, Valentine's list. That's the list of the kids. But I'm, I'm more curious to see 
what the cards, what kind of cards were out. Oh, I can't remember their names. Club Ed? Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That's it. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Gosh, I had forgotten all about them. Who remembers Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo will always be around. Bratz, The Hulk, Spider-Man. Uh, I'm horrible at names. What is her name? It doesn't say her name. Oh, I can't. Kim Possible? Is it Kim Possible? Okay, you all can tell me if I'm wrong. I think that's Kim Possible. I don't know where that came from in my brain, but it, it did. It came out. So if that's right, then that's that's pretty cool that I still had that in there in my the gray matter somewhere. <laughs> uh, there's uh, Ninja Turtles. And dogs. Dogs and kitty cats are always going to be popular, aren't they? That one's just kind of generic. I don't know what that is. Is that a transformer? I don't know what that is. Oh my goodness. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. That's, that's funny. Because you know that they don't like their picture out there at all. They've taken one selfie like their whole lives and they said that was the first and that would be the last. That they would never do that again. And the Lion King. And just a generic one, another generic one. Okay, I opened up her scrapbook and this time I had taped an envelope in here and I have not opened these yet. These are Valentine's from first grade 2003. You just have to make sure you don't seal it. Um, but I like doing it that way because it is, didn't, um, didn't take up any space doing it that way. Okay, so let's see who we have. Pokemon! Mary-Kate and Ashley in action. Oh, okay, that's different. Ah, uh, Powerpuff Girls. Ashley loved the Powerpuff Girls. She loved the Powerpuff Girls. Um, she also loved Sailor Moon. I don't think Sailor Moon was uh, popular. I like that one. I don't think Sailor Moon was like popular among her peers, but um, I love Hey Arnold. Love Hey Arnold. Uh, but she likes Sailor Moon. That's from Powerpuff Girls. Barbie. Scooby-Doo. Barbie. Uh, Steve Irwin. Oh, Lord. Who is this? Aaron Carter? Aaron Carter. And it's, it's, um, it's like sealed. Can I even open it? Did I actually even open this Valentine's card? Because it didn't look like it had been opened. I'd say where it's... Ooh, it's... There we go. I broke the seal! Aaron Carter. That was 2003. I'm sure Aaron Carter looks much different now. Hermione. And... Steve Irwin. And... Just a sports one. I found more Valentines. These are from third grade. So we have the Care Bears and uh, is that Pokemon and Bratz. Lots of Bratz. Bratz were very, very popular at that time. And these are turned the wrong way. And I, I, I attached them to this sheet of paper, but I attached them so that you could still flip them up and see the name on the back. And then on this page, 
That's pretty. Those are postcards. And there's another postcard. There's Andrew and Ashley in 2002. Ashley. And that's from a Barbie she had. The pregnant Barbie, which Ashley had the pregnant Barbie and her stomach came off. It was really cool. I actually sold it on eBay because Ashley didn't want it anymore um, once she got a little older. But it was a cool Barbie. We have just a few more Valentines. These are from fourth grade. And you have Bratz and Spider-Man and more Bratz. And you all are going to have to tell me if you actually... Uh, keep your Valentine's cards. And you know what? If Ashley wanted to come up here and take these out and throw them away right now, she could. Because I've I've done my job as mom. You know, I, th I feel like my job as mom is to collect these cards for her. And then she can make the decision, since she's old enough, she can now make the decision whether she wants to... Um, to keep them or not and that's up to her and if she wanted to like scan them or take pictures of them cat in the hat um then she could do that and keep them on the computer instead of having hard copies or if she just wanted to throw them away she could um that that would be totally up to her no hard feelings i feel like i've done my part ashley's purse usually holds a multitude of things in it and I thought I would show you no telling what is going to come out of here. And the dishes, you, the noise you hear is Tammy doing dishes. But um, it's amazing things come out of this purse. A thank you card from a patient. A dirty band -aid. Yeah, yeah. It was stuck to my pay stubs. <laughs> okay, there's a story behind this. I went and had my toes done. And I had... Protect, there's no blood on it or anything. I've had protected a blister by like putting this over it. And then I didn't want the nail man to think I was diseased. And so I slipped it off and threw it in my purse while he wasn't looking. <laughs> <That's disgusting. laughs> wait, wait, where's the trash pile? This is the trash pile. Are you gonna put the dirty bandaid on the table? It's already there. A church bulletin. A bank statement and a Bath and Body coupon that expired. Um, McDonald's, KFC. It's been several weeks since I cleaned this out. Yes. A piece of paper with a to-do list on it that I have not done. A coupon for some bananas that I won't use because I don't eat bananas. I think this is from Canes. This looks like a Canes receipt. No, nope, McDonald's. Monies. I don't know what this means. Dr. Bauer socks. Not a clue. Um, a Subway receipt. I was healthy that day. Ooh, a receipt from my doctor's office. Keep that. Another dollar. Um, a to-do list for after I donated blood, a Reese cup wrapper, my checkbook, a Target receipt. Target, for those of you that don't know what that means. Everyone knows that Target is Target. They've been here before. Um, a large bottle of ibuprofen, and there's also some Dayquil and some Midol in there. <laughs> it's a cocktail of goods. <laughs> a travel lotion. The winter candy apple, for those of you who are wondering. Um, a hairbrush that I literally have used maybe once. My sunglasses. A Marshall's receipt, gum wrapper, an ink pen. A someone else's Starbucks order. I don't know where that's from, I can't read it. Ooh, my Jungle Book ticket. P.S. Movie review, best movie ever. I went and saw it in the movie theater and I loved it with all my soul. I want to own it. Um, I use these to highlight in my Bible. Um, some jewelry that an old woman at work gave me, a patient like two months ago. Um, another dollar. 
this lip balm. And they sing in the Jungle Book too, don't they? Isn't there singing in the Jungle Book? Gum. A piece of cinnamon gum that has not been chewed. They do sing in the Jungle Book, kind of. A $5 bill, a tampon. An appointment card, that's important. Some perfume, and oh, a lip, I've been looking for this. A lipstick, my favorite lipstick. Well, not my favorite, I like it a lot. Um, an empty gum wrapper. Some Clorox to go, important. A Lexington Clinic receipt. A salt packet, because we have to have these. Walgreens, another coupon, pepper spray, another Reese wrapper, bobby pins. If you needed the pepper spray, you wouldn't be able to find it. That's true. Some more bobby pins, a pin, oh, a quarter. Some more bobby pins, some more quarters. A sneaker ball. No, no. Trash. Nail polish. Salt. Keep it everywhere. Um, some sanitizer. More monies. Gum that's used. An old contact case from the eye doctor's office. And I think that's it. A debris, fog pins, that's it. I'm out. All that was in there. It's amazing, isn't and it? Half of it's garbage. I know, I wonder how much garbage is in my wallet. Oh, what? There's receipts. Um, P.S. This is terrible to admit to. This Cold Stone gift card is the gift that keeps on giving. Because it has never worked since, like, I got it, but I had the receipt from the person that bought it for me to prove that, like, they had bought it. And so I used it once, and then I used it again, and then I used it again, and the money just never goes off of it. I don't know how that works. A Lifeway Rewards card. My wallet's pretty clean. Relatively. So that's it. I'm just gonna finish cleaning this out. Oh, when does this expire? Yeah, there's four different flights. Oh yeah, those are nice size flights. Those are cool, aren't they? 
Cheshire Cat and Alice and the, the Red Queen and the Rabbit. Those are awesome. They're also fifty dollars. They're fifty dollars, and they have a phone case. This is at uh, FYE in the mall. Yeah, that is very cool looking. That is awesome looking. I never thought that I would see this again. He's, Thirty bucks. Yeah, $30 for a record. <laughs> when you, you could, couldn't give them away a couple years ago at a yard sale, you could not give these things away. And now they're, they're selling them. They have a whole section of them at FYE. No, none of them are. That one's sixty dollars. Oh my gosh! Spotted Barbie. Oh Lord. Oh, he spotted a different one. I thought he was gonna be a Barbie girl. <laughs> you fit in perfectly around here. <laughs> Do Barbie. And then you have to sing the song. You have to sing, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Looks like that door. Yeah, door. Dora's got short hair. Let's see. Do her. Do Dora. Dora does not have long hair. Dora does not have long hair. Okay, which one did he look best in? The red. I think the red one too. <laughs> the ponytail. And Kevin said this is a transformer, and he's yeah, uh, Prime. yeah, Optimus Prime. He says, but he's awfully cute. He's short and stubby. He's short and stubby. Ashley this morning stopped at Mondelli's Bakery and she picked us up some pedophores. So here are the pedophores and then this is a giant chocolate chip cookie. I don't know if you can see this. It looks like this. It is huge. Is it, it it's yes. Yes. I haven't had one of these. <laughs> Buttercream icing. I haven't had one of these in many years. Actually, I did a video years ago called Losing Myself. It's one of the first videos I uploaded on YouTube. And it shows pictures of my weight loss. And this was in one of the pictures that showed how I got that heavy. Because I would eat like a whole one. So, it was great. No, I would probably eat half. But still, I could eat a whole one. Um, but anyway, I think that was very sweet of her to stop and uh, get us all a pedophore and another dessert to share. Well, Kevin and I have come to Frankfurt because Kevin has to be here for graduation. Not my graduation. Not his graduation, no. But we're hoping that that won't be too long. Hopefully. Yes, hopefully. Uh, but no, this is the, uh, you know, Kevin is a, a 
professor at a school. He's an assistant dean, and so uh, the, he has to be here for graduation, and he will actually be getting up to speak. And so when we go in the, this is the Frankfurt Convention Center, mm -hmm. isn't it? When we go in, I'll try to show you around a little bit, and I'll show you uh, how full it gets because the, the place gets packed. And uh, Kevin will be getting up to speak, so you'll get to see him do all that, and I hope you enjoy it. Kevin's putting his fancy dress on. <laughs> this is his fancy dress, and I'm holding his cap. But he keeps this in the in the closet. And I'll show you how he looks from the back. But they don't teach you when they when they sell you this stuff, they don't teach you how to put this stuff on. So he had to figure out how to put this stuff on by himself. Because you would think you would, it would be uh, self-explanatory, but it's really not, because it has this hood on the back. You look beautiful. You put your cap on when you get in? When you get inside? Okay, this last time I was on that side of the film the left side of the stage mm -hmm. and I, I remember I sat up there So where do you want? It's up to you I think I would get I mean, it's filling up pretty quick. Are these are these reserve seats with the ones with the the white on them? Probably for the five of them. It looks like that's what faculty are gonna set. Okay. Um, I think I'll be good at one of these red sections here. Or back in there, maybe that section right there. Okay. Where do you want me to meet you when it's over? Um, I'll just wait for you outside somewhere out front. Okay. Because literally we walk out through here and we leave. Right. Okay. So at the front doors. Yeah, just meet me outside. Okay. Because it's going to be a mess. They could take me away. Will the graduates of the Advanced Manufacturing Trades Division please come forward to be recognized? Madam President, it is my honor to present to you the candidates for credentials in air conditioning technology, architectural technology, automotive technology, civil engineering technology, collision repair technology, computer aided drafting and design, computerized manufacturing and machining, construction technology, electrical technology, energy technologies. Engineering and Electronics Technology, EPON Studies, Industrial Maintenance Technologies, Integrated Engineering Technologies, and Welding Technologies. Each candidate has, has actively completed the appropriate coursework in the prescribed curriculum and has maintained the appropriate academic standards to earn the credential.
you may now move your tassels from right to Well, I know last week's uh, video was a little different, and I know some of you all missed the regular, the cat is looking up here like, who is she talking to? I know some of you all missed the regular uh, vlog like the whole week, um, so I hope you enjoyed this video much better. Um, I just thought since, um, you know, we went to, to Boone Tavern and ate, we were there, we were in a different town, I thought you all would like that. So I decided just to make that one day. Um, he's crazy. Oh, you should see him when he starts. Do you see this? He will randomly go over to the wallpaper and just pat it like, like there's a secret way out of here and only he knows it. And he'll do that randomly all over the room. It's, it's really bizarre. Um, anyway, I, I hope that, that you like this vlog better because this is more, you know, the week, uh, the whole week. Uh, but I just thought last week I would try something different. And, and since we spent so much time there, I thought you all would enjoy getting to see everything in one video. So, but I did forget last week to wrap it up by telling you Ashley's, the little things that Ashley said. If you're new here, Ashley gave me a big clear jar for Christmas and inside she put quotes and um, uh, Bible verses and just uh, uh, sayings, uh, inspirational sayings, things like that on little pieces of paper. She put 365 in there, one for every day of the year, and I pull a different one out every day. So, last week, since I did um, that like vlog in a day, I forgot to put these at the end of the video. So, you're going to get two weeks worth in this video. So, sorry about that. Um, so, this is what I pulled out. Uh, laugh at yourself. I like that. Laugh at yourself. And that, that's very important. Um, you know, and, and it's nice to know, I, I think, you know, when, when we're going through a hard time, I always think, I'm, we're going to laugh at this later. It's going to happen. We're going to laugh. So, that's important. Uh, take the time to do what makes your soul smile. I agree with this because if you don't take some time out uh, to make yourself happy, uh, you'll just go crazy. I mean, why be here if you're not going to be the least bit happy? Uh, you deserve happiness. Unless someone like you cares a whole lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. That's Dr. Seuss. Believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. We cannot disobey long enough or run far enough that God does not want us back. Very true. Express gratitude for what you have. That's important. And, you know, be thankful for what you have and not always looking for more. You know, be, be grateful for what you have right here in this moment right now. Because there's so much more than, than you think. A goal is a dream with a deadline. What's yours? The harder the conflict, the greater the triumph. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. I'm too busy working on my own grass to notice if yours is greener. Um, and I think um, that's this is so true. You know, basically, mind your own business. Keep to yourself. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing. Keep focus on what you're doing, and you'll be much happier uh, if you just focus on you than if you focus on what everybody else is doing and, you know, try to judge them. Uh, this says, be, be, ba be bold. <laughs> It looks like she wrote be bad, but I'm pretty sure it's be bold because I don't think she would have put be bad in there. <laughs> um, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground and your hands in the air because it lifts everything up. 
No, <laughs> that's horrible. Um, <laughs> luck favors the prepared. And the last one is decide, uh, decide that you want it more than you are afraid of it. That's a really good one too. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed getting to see Kevin at graduation. Uh, I thought he did a really good job. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people there. And I mainly, you know, I showed you the other side of the um, Coliseum, the auditorium, um, but I didn't show you like my side because I wasn't going to pan behind me. That would have been weird, but my entire side was full. Um, so there were a whole lot of people there. So that was, uh, that was cool that, um, we got to see him get up and do his thing. I was supposed to, uh, last year was the first year that he had to get up and say anything. And I was supposed to film him last year. It was like, I was really looking forward to it because it was going to be his first year. And we scheduled, it was on a Saturday last year, graduation was. And we scheduled the yard sale for that day. Kevin completely forgot that that was the same day of graduation. So we had already scheduled the yard sale, put it in the newspaper. Andrew and Christina had price their stuff. I mean, it was planned. It was a done deal. We had already borrowed the tables and everything. So, uh, then Kevin remembered, oh no, I have to go to graduation that day. So, we said, you know, you go on, you leave the yard sale early, and you go, and we'll finish out the day and shut it down, which is very hard. That's a hard part is bringing all that stuff in. And, uh, but anyway, so while we're out there sweating and still yard selling, um, he comes in and he, you know, he changes and he had to leave. And, but I, it was kind of, it was disappointing. I enjoyed being here for the yard sale. I always do, but it was disappointing because I missed him, uh, get up in front of everybody for the first time. So anyway, I'm glad I got to see it this year i was i was very happy to be there and i thought he did a really good job so i hope you all have a good week and uh thanks for watching